Hello everyone. Are you struggling to get group chat ID or conversation ID with the new Microsoft Teams? Then, this is the video for you. In this video, I will show you how to get the group chat ID or conversation ID from Microsoft Teams very quickly. So, let's get started. This is the new UI of Microsoft's new Teams, where I have created two group chats for my demo. Now I want to get the group chat ID or conversation ID of a group chat. In the older version of Teams, if you clicked on the three dots, next to your group chat name, you used to get the copy link option, but that is missing in the new Teams. Then if you paste that link in Notepad, you can extract the chat ID from the link. Even with the old Teams, we used to get the group chat copy link from this menu as well. Or, we are able to open the group chat link in the browser URL bar as well, but with the new Teams, all options are missing. Now, it is a little tricky to get the group chat ID with this new Microsoft Teams. One more thing you should be aware of is that you cannot change your Teams to older Teams. Your organization might have blocked this option. So I'll show you how to get the group chat ID very quickly using the new Microsoft Teams. I will now open my developer tools. I will just press F12. Then I'll click on this open tools. Right then, go to the network tab. Then check the preserve log. Then type something here in your group chat. Send a sample message to your group chat. I am passing here, getting group chat ID. However, any messages you can pass here. Then, you can see the messages, select the top latest message, click on that. Message from the list of messages under the name column. Now you need to go to this headers tab. Right, then from the headers tab, look for the location attribute. As you can see here, the location attribute. This is the URL where we can get the group chat ID or conversation ID. Here, after the conversations and before the messages, whatever value you see is the group chat ID or conversation ID. If you get more data in your headers, you can filter it at the top by entering text like conversations so that you'll get wherever the conversations. Texts are there so we can filter with that also. I'll just copy this and paste in my notepad editor. So whatever we see here, after the conversations and before the messages is the group chat ID or conversation ID. I mean, this is the group chat ID from this location URL, right? I will ensure this group chat ID is correct by passing this in a sample flow. I have added this trigger when a new message added to chat or channel where I have selected the message type as group chat. Here, we can select channel or group chat. I have created two demo group chats. I can see them here. I can select any of them for the chat parameter. However, I am not passing those because I want to pass this conversation ID or group chat to. Ensure that this is the correct group chat ID, which I got from the developer tools. If I start my chat in my demo group chat one, this flow should get triggered. If this gets triggered, that means I got the correct group chat ID. Let me trigger this flow manually. 
to see whether it works. Now, I will just pass something to my group chat, something like, group chat, testing. Now, let me go to my flow and see whether it got triggered. Yes, it triggered and ran successfully. That means that is the correct group chat ID. And you can see these are the values. And I can see that an email has been sent to me. So, in this video, we learned how to get a group chat ID or conversation ID very quickly using the developer tools. If this video helps you, kindly consider subscribing to my channel for more technical tips and tricks. And I would truly appreciate it if you could like and share this video with your networks. Thank you.